All right, all right, all right. It is Intuitive Empress coming to you with another message. Hello. We are going to be doing secret messages from the karmic. All right. This is for my Aquariuses. This is actually the last day. Happy birthday. And then tomorrow we'll be going into Pisces season. So I will be starting with Pisces for our next reading. Provided I get through them before the 28th of the month. But happy birthday to my Aquariuses. Remember, this is a general read. So take what messages are for you and leave the rest. It's a possibility that this may not resonate with you at all. And that is fine because it is a general message. If you would like a personal message, please follow the instructions in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this reading out. Time is fluid, so I can be speaking to your past, present, and future. All right. So, I'm going to do this a little differently because it doesn't seem like I'm getting... Oh, wait. There we go. Couple cards. All right. Karmic says he wants us both. And another card behind it. She asks, does he spend money on you too? He wants us both. Trust me, the grass is not greener here. He gets triggered when you have different views, so I just agree with him. I messaged you to get you out of the way. All right, so what we have here, and this has been a theme even in the general love reading, is that Money was a factor. So, Aquarius, it could be that he's spending money on you and money on the karmic. He wants both of you. So he wants more than one person. And this is a man that we're dealing with because it says he, 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 he in the messages but it is fluid so flip it if you are the female and or the male and this is the situation it says trust me the grass is not greener over here so basically this masculine is playing with your feelings and the karmic's feelings this is somebody who has temper issues because they get triggered when you have different views and point of views. It's his way or the highway. And I just want to make sure that you can see the messages. So I just want to move them over just a smidge. All right, there we go. And this karmic is insecure, so she messages you to get you out of the way. She could have text messaged you because she got your number out the phone, um, played on your social media, and or could have sent a message from his phone pretending to be him to get you out of the way. Take it how it resonates. Anything else? Ah, okay. But appears it did not work. He's still with you. It says, why hasn't he let you go yet? 
So this woman, and it's another card, okay. The cards are sticking together. This woman wants you out of the way so they can have your person all to themselves, but he does not want to get rid of you. And until he wants to, or you break it off, he's gonna to continue to flop between the two of you. I wanna have a talk with you about all of this. So the karmic is one to reach out to you, to talk to you about the situation. I don't necessarily think it's a good idea. If he's flipping between the two of you, it actually may be the best, in both of your best interest to let this person go. I want him or her, and this card says him or her, to flip the energies if it needs to be, to break your heart. But I'm really getting masculine energies as far as the person. She wants him to break your heart so she can feel justified. Okay? So she can feel better about herself. Because she's steeped into insecurity. Okay. Is there anything else that the karmic wants to say to my Aquarius? Hmm. And we know I am jealous. She's jealous of you because. She's used to being the person that everybody wants, okay? Probably used to coming in and having the person that she's interested in dump whoever they're with to be with them, and that's not what's happening in this case. So she's wondering, well, who are you? Is he spending his money on you? Is he doing this? She wants to know all about you because what's happening with her has never happened to her before. So I am going to clarify all of this to find out what's brewing. Let's see how this is going to play out, Aquarius, because this karmic wants to talk to you and meet with you. Let's see if they actually do. Oh, that came out immediately. Fulfilling a fantasy. Your person was fulfilling a fantasy with this person and even you. It is a fantasy for a guy to have more than one girl. But this person is going to try to reach out with to you and you're going to put them in their place once they do. Yep. Because both the karmic and your person are caught up in this relationship. You're going to find evidence of his relationship with her or if the energy is flipped the relationship that she has with him and again you're gonna to have to put someone in their place man or woman uh okay the karmic is 
upset because she thinks she's pregnant or may be pregnant. On here it says pregnancy test, unsure, pregnancy scare, positive, negative. So for some of you, this person is having a pregnancy scare. For other of you, this person is actually pregnant. That is why she wants to have a conversation with you. I want to talk to you about all of this. That's why she's jealous. That's why she wants to know, does he spend his money on you? That's why she wants him to break your heart. There may have been some promises from him. Oh, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to leave her. Mm. Spirit is telling me that he's saying that he can't let you go. Possibly because, oh, I don't know what she's going to do to herself. Oh, she's a bugaboo. But this girl is a bugaboo, too, to you. So use some caution. Protect yourself. Because this situation is about to explode. Big time. For some of you, you may be married to this person. Or your person could be married to the karmic. And she's pregnant or you're pregnant if you're a female and you're married to this person and you might have been wanting to get a divorce. So use caution because this could turn into your worst nightmare. And somebody in this situation, the karmic in this situation is money hungry. And that's verified by, does he spend money on you? She wants the money all to herself and she may have thought that if she had gotten pregnant, it was gonna cause him to focus just on her. Is there anything else, Spirit, that you want to tell the Aquarius with dealing with the karmic? Okay, so these things came out. And he possibly said that he wanted to be with you and stay with you because if you're the one that's married, he does not want to break his marriage up, but this person does not want to hear it. She has anger management issues or he has anger management issues all because of a crush that she has. It's not even love, it's a crush. On the bottom of the deck, it says family time. So somebody is definitely pregnant. You may have kids with this person, or maybe even you're the one who got pregnant, and that's why he doesn't want to walk away. Somebody has outdated thinking. Meaning, oh, if you're pregnant, then we need to get married. It could be the karmic female. It could be the karmic male if you're a female and you're pregnant. Yeah. Somebody's a hater. Hating on the situation. It could have been a situation where the person was married and they were keeping you a secret or vice versa, where your person was married to you and they were keeping this karmic a secret. That's one of the reasons why she wants to, or he wants to approach you to tell you about it because there's a secret, but she's been talking all about you and your person could have been venting 
and talking about the issues that they had with you. So they think that they're better, a better match for you. The karmic thinks that they're a better match for your person. Anything else? Align yourself with the universe if you have not already. This person needs to check themselves. Because they're about to make a bad decision. Wow. Okay. So your person could have been burning evidence of this person's pregnancy, trying to bury it, or this person is burning evidence of doing different things to you, damaging property, going on the internet. They're very insecure, this karmic is. There may be a recording, a sex tape out there with your person and this karmic. Or of you, if that's the case, if you're the if you're with a karmic as opposed to your person being a karmic, because whatever it is, this person already knows everything and has evidence of it. Somebody's been putting on a show, either your person with you. Your person with the karmic, the karmic with your person, because this karmic wants this person's money. So they've been having wild sex, but your person has been trying to run away. From the situation. But your person is getting karma. That's what they've been attracting. Because they were not right. The relationship with that karmic is toxic. The karmic wants to ride this out because they think that it will be over. Or you may be trying to ride it out because maybe you do have a feeling and inkling that something is going on. For the sake of your children in a marriage contract. There's jealousy because we had jealousy come out, insecurity come out. Because you were born to shine. And this karmic just can't touch you. You may get a fake apology from your person. But you're tired of the drama that's on the bottom of the deck. Your person could be tired of the drama with the karmic. Take it as it resonates. And some of you knew about it. Some of you didn't. But time is up on this karmic relationship. And the karmic feels it. They don't know what to do about it. And that's why the situation may be about to explode. This person is desperate. Desperate, desperate. So these all came out. Go to a safe place. You will need protection from this affair. As some of you might know because you found lipstick stains on different items of clothing. But your person is getting manipulated and played. For some of you, this person may not even be pregnant because it's a pregnancy scare. They're trying to control the situation. Your person thought they had everything under control by having 
you and having this person. But in reality, they're not the puppet master. They're the puppet. This karmic has been doing things and watching things go down and gossiping about it. Let's get some guidance on this. Yeah, I knew this reading was going on. It was a lot in this. I'm going to go with my new cards, my African guidance cards. Just this is already shuffled. So, God, what are the advice? Oof. Okay, I got cards flying all over. So, Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels, the Most High God, give me a message for the Aquarius is because. The energy. There we go. Okay. So. You have. Soul forgiveness. Okay. So you want to. Look into. Forgiving. Your person. Fake apology. No apology. Because you have a harvest coming. Okay. And you want to be naked, open, and honest with yourself. Okay. And I'm going to get a little bit more in depth with this. All right. So... For the goddess of soul forgiveness, the temple is the lovers. The element is bush. Goddess Momboku was the first woman. Her father, Akongo, the cranky supreme god, put her... And her loud children in a basket and dismissed them to earth. So with the guidance for this is who do you need to forgive? Let it go and reclaim yourself. Forgiveness is a gift of freedom for you. And you want to de declar use the declaration, I forgive and free myself. I forgive and free others. Because as you forgive, your soul is healed. Okay? So it's not about them. It's about you. It's about moving on. It's about bringing your karma back into alignment. Okay? A bold nimba is the high priestess. Her element is water. She is the fertility God. And she has her living spiritual healing mask. So you embody the sacred femininity and abundance. Okay? When you, this card comes out. So... It's a very, she has a healing mask. So it's saying soul forgiveness. The healing mask is there. Once you heal, you see there's abundance in these baskets. Okay. So give thanks for the blessings that you have because it's harvest time. But you have to be careful because harvest time is not always good. It can be good. You reap what you sow. So if you forgive, then your harvest will be good and it will be based in that forgiveness and healing from the lessons that you learned. If you do not and you take the other path, then you are going to reap the wickedness. It is a season of great harvest. 
It is a season of great epiphanies. You are prospering and declare to yourself, I am always prospering. Okay? That's that one. And for the last one, naked. That is a water element as well. Temple. Griots. So, Mami Wata and her sisters live in the Ikpoba River in Nigeria. But the ancient mermaid goddess is her own global pantheon. She influences emotions and gifts her followers and gives her followers with clairvoyance and healing powers. And so the guidance is hide no more. The emotional nakedness you avoid is your superpower, not your shame. So you want to say and declare, I have the courage to be vulnerable. And in this situation, you have to be vulnerable to the most high. You will get clarity from God and celestial alignment, alignment with the Holy Spirit and God and with your life purpose. And again, there's more prosperity here with this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So don't let this situation turn you into somebody that you not grow and learn. Karmics come to teach us a lesson, to help us to grow and things like that. It does not mean that the journey might not be pain, me is not gonna be painful sometimes. So learn, grow and forget so you can move into your abundance, Aquarius. That is the reading that I have for you. And happy birthday, and I'll see you next reading.